All right, let's talk about the Yesu FT DX10 and the FT710 AESS in a straightforward head to head comparison. If you're trying to figure out which of these two radios is the right fit for you, stick around because I'm going to break it all down in a way that makes sense. Both the FT DX10 and FT710 are praised for their excellent receivers, and honestly, this is where both radios really shine. The FT DX10 has been around longer and has built a reputation for its ability to pull signals out of the noise, even in challenging conditions. If you're someone who loves chasing DX or getting into contests, the FT DX10's receiver is a beast. It's one of these radios that can make weak signals pop thanks to its top notch filtering capabilities. Now, the FT710 isn't far behind. In fact, some users argue that its digital noise reduction, DNR, is a bit more effective at clearing up noisy signals without adding that annoying distortion that some other radios might. If you're operating in a noisy environment, especially in urban areas, the FT710 could give you a slight edge in hearing those faint signals. Here's where the differences become more apparent. The FT DX10 is definitely powerful, but it comes with a learning curve. The front panel is crowded. There are a lot of knobs and buttons crammed into a relatively small space, which can be a bit overwhelming, especially if you're new to this level of radio. Some users have even resorted to using a stylus to avoid hitting the wrong buttons. On the flip side, the FT710 is much more user friendly. The interface is more intuitive and the layout is cleaner, making it easier to navigate through the settings. If you're someone who doesn't want to spend a ton of time learning a new rig or you just prefer a simpler setup, the FT710 is the better choice here. When it comes to build quality, both radios are solid, but there are some differences in how they're put together. The FT DX10 is a bit larger and heavier, which gives it a more robust feel. However, this also means the controls are a bit more cramped and you might find the layout to be less than ideal. The external display port on the FT DX10 has also been a point of concern, with reports of the port getting damaged if not used correctly. The FT710, on the other hand, is more compact and lighter, which makes it easier to transport if you're planning to take it out into the field or on a D expedition. The controls are more spaced out and the overall design is a bit more modern. This makes it a better option if you're looking for something that's both portable and easy to use. Let's talk audio. The FT DX10 has a reputation for delivering great audio reports, but it does require some tweaking to get it just right for your voice. Once you dial it in though, you'll be getting compliments on your transmit audio all day long. The FT710 also delivers solid audio performance, but where it really stands out is in its DNR. Users have noted that the DNR on the FT710 is more effective at reducing noise without sacrificing audio quality. This can make a big difference, especially during long sessions where you're trying to pull out weak signals from the noise. Now this is where you'll see some of the biggest differences. The FT DX10 comes loaded with features, including the ability to decode CW and RTTY directly on the display which the FT710 lacks. If you're into those modes, this could be a deciding factor for you. On the other hand, the FT710 includes some nice touches that make it more convenient to use. For example, it has an external display connection that's easy to set up, and it's overall just a bit more modern in terms of its interface and ease of use. But you do sacrifice some of the advanced features that the FT DX10 offers. Finally, let's talk about the money. The FT710 is the more affordable option, and it really offers incredible value for the price. If you're on a budget, but still want a high-performance SDR, the FT710 is hard to beat. The FT DX10 is more expensive, but you're paying for those extra features and that top-of-the-line receiver. If you're the type who likes to have the best gear and you don't mind spending a bit more, the FT DX10 might be worth the investment. So which one should you get? Well, it depends on what you value most. If you want the absolute best in receiver performance, don't mind a steeper learning curve, and can handle a few ergonomic quirks, the FT DX10 is a fantastic choice. But if you're looking for something that's easier to use, still has excellent performance, and won't break the bank, the FT710 AESS is a stellar option. 
Ultimately, you can't go wrong with either, but your decision should be based on what you prioritize in a radio. Happy operating.